everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday tutorial time. Um, just in case you don't know, my name is Wendy. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator and I am a retired elementary art teacher and I always say once an art teacher, always an art teacher. I'm here to help you and sometimes your kids get crafty and bring out your inner artist. So let's get busy. Today I have a Stampin' Up! tool to share with you that I don't get it out as often as I should um, because it's really, really handy. And let me just go ahead and show you what this tool does. This tool is called the Stamparatus. Now, jokingly, jokingly, I call it the Stamposaurus, <laughs> but it is the Stamparatus, and let me show it to you. Okay, now this is a Stamparatus, and I already have my um, stamps on here that I want to use today. I'm actually going to put it this way. A Stamparatus is nice and heavy, and it is a, a, a means to make lots of Multiple, or multiple cards quickly, okay? And it's a very easy way to line things up and get them exactly where you want them. Um, I put this paper on myself. It's just a piece of my grid paper. Comes with this padded piece. You, you need this rubber piece for the stamps to have some cushion, but it also has some measuring um, properties on it too. Okay. It also comes with two magnets. You'll need these for holding your paper down. I'm going to grab them both. They store on the bottom. Um, I'll give you a tip, though. These magnets are st mm -hmm. strong, okay? I put a little piece of um, duct tape on them to help me pull them up because they're hard sometimes to get your... See? Told you. They're strong. Um, they're hard sometimes to get um, up, so when you have fruit fruit nails like I do. All right, so um, I'm gonna set those far apart from each other. We're gonna need those in a minute. <laughs> and I'm gonna put my paper back in here. And I gotta get it going the right way. I think that's it. Nope, goodness. Sorry guys. Now, the cool thing about Stamparatus is you actually have four spots to put your stamps. There's the, these, um, these boards come out, and so you can set up two stamps on this board, oops, and two stamps or more on this board, okay? So I'm gonna leave that one in there. I'm gonna actually need this side first. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. And I'm gonna need this side first. So now let me make sure I've got my paper lined up. Nope, it goes this way. And then we can get started and I'll show you what we're making. That is perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna lay that down for a minute. Now, the cards we're making today, some Christmas cards. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get a little panicky about the Christmas season and getting all my cards done and all my crafts done. Okay, so this is a super easy way and I'm going to, um, I guess I can't mirror it. Yeah, you're seeing it um, opposite, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, opposite the way I'm seeing it. But anyway, these were done with the Stamparatus, and I have the Stamparatus all set up. I could make a whole bunch of these, a bunch more of these quickly. So look at how quickly you could make a bunch of cards. Okay, now we're using a stamp set called Decorated with Happiness Christmas set. It is in our... Uh, July to December mini catalog. It is right there on page 27. Real nice stamp set with lots of good, um, you know, leaves and um, I guess you'd call them, I don't know, pine leaves, boughs of holly. I, I don't know <laughs> what they're called, but some ornaments, some good sayings and things, sentiments. All right. And we're going to also be using a little bit of the six by six uh, lights aglow paper. And that is part of the Lights of Glow suite. And it's the six by six paper. It's real, really pretty. Okay, 
So enough about that. Here are the, well, you saw the cards. So now here's how you do a Stamparettis. I'm gonna slide this over a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna open it back up. Come on, it gets stuck there. All right, now what I like to do is I like to first decide, now, um, and I forgot to grab a card front. Let me grab one real quick. Oh, I've got to make one. Let me hop over to my um, trimmer and cut it real fast. Um, card base. If you can hear me, we cut it five and a half. And we score at four and a quarter. I can make these in my sleep because I make them so often. But there, I just scored that piece. So now we have our card base. As you can see on this one, we have our card base where we're gonna put the paper and then we're gonna pop up this middle piece that has the stamping in it, okay? So the stamping pieces are, they are five by three and three quarters. Okay, those are the pieces that we're going to stamp. And now what I like to do is I like to line up my, my uh, whisper, uh, excuse me, basic white paper that I want to stamp on or whatever color I want to stamp on. And I made some little tick marks in the corner. I don't know if you can see those. I made little tick marks. So I know exactly where my paper is going to go every time. Okay, it's going to go right there. Okay, now I'm gonna use those magnets to hold one down. I'm not stamping anything over here right now. And to do right about here, because I'm not stamping anything there. Okay, so now what I've done is I have this bow of holly or whatever it may be. And I'm gonna use my, and I went ahead and um, what I did is I laid it down where I wanted it and I pressed and it picked it up onto this sheet or this um, board, excuse me. So you can see there's my stamp, okay? It is right where I want it. So I'm gonna stamp that or I'm gonna um, ink it with my um, Evening Evergreen. There we go. And now I'm just gonna flip this closed. See how I've lined it up where I want it? And I actually missed a little spot at the bottom, I can tell. The cool thing about Stamparatus is if it doesn't ink up just like you like it, I'm gonna press, everything is in place. You can just open it up and re-ink it and do it again. It's great for those dark colors that sometimes don't turn out just the way you want them. Oops, see, this part did not print very well. That's okay, because I'm already ink that part. That means I didn't press that part very well. Really kind of got a push. There it is. Okay, now I'm just gonna wipe that spot up. Easy peasy with my um, Simply Chamois. Just kind of wipe it up. Doesn't have to be great because I'm going to make some more of these. Um, now, now I'm going to flip it over because as you can see in my finished card, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little background, some light, um, a little bit of light green. This stamp set comes with these, these kind of background colors that, that give it a little more dimension. So what we're gonna do with that one, I have that on the other side. I'm gonna take this out, flip it over, pop it right back in, and then these are lined up. The little splotches for color are lined up and they're ready to go. So I'm going to stamp, or excuse me, I'm gonna ink with my Evening Evergreen again. But this time I want it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna stamp it off. And I just put my, just to make it a little easier, sometimes it's nice, this kind of drops down and it's hard to sometimes put your ink on. So sometimes it's good to either use, um, use a stamp case or something just to stick underneath, okay? But I don't want that quite that dark. 
So I'm going to do what we call, call stamping off. I'm going to take the top layer of the color, just have a scrap paper here, and I'm just going to press it real quick with my hand and take some of that color off. See, it's now on this paper. And now I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. It is lined up almost perfectly. And I might want a little bit more there. That spot right there doesn't seem to want to. There we go. All right, can you see that? I'm going to take this off for a second so you can see it. See, now there's a little green behind there. Okay, so I'm going to pop that back in. Wipe it off with my shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. I like saying shimmy. Okay, and now we're ready for our ornaments. I have the ornaments already on this board. Okay, I'm gonna stick this underneath just to give it some some padding. Oops. And I'm gonna do one ornament in mint macaron and one in real red. So how can I do that? I'm just gonna pull it up and I'm gonna ink it this way so I can see and just get the one ornament. And I can see when it's stamped pretty good. Uh-huh, there we go. And now for the red. Oops, got some on my finger, that's okay. All right, now I'm just gonna stamp the red. There we go. And now I can put them down. They are already lined up with the bow of holly. Press. Ta-da! See how they're lined up perfectly? Okay. All right. And I'm going to wipe those two up. On the other side, same thing as with the bows of holly pine boughs, there are, in the stamp set, there are little, little blobs that give the ornaments some dimension. So I'm going to flip this around. I already have them ready. They are going to fit right in there, right in the um, ornaments, okay? And I'm going to stamp mint macaron is the round one. Yeah, it's better to do it this way so I can see it. Mm -hmm. And the red, real red. My dogs are standing outside the room. I have the door shut. They are huffing and puffing because they do not like me being in here. I'm going to stamp off again so it's light. Uh -huh. Ooh, it might be too light for the green. I might put a little extra on there. And stamp it. Oh, I just stuck my fingers in the ink. So, and I could make multiple, multiples of these. And they're exactly the same. Because everything, it just took a minute to set all those up where I wanted them. Um, I'll show you just one more. Okay. I lay it down in that spot so we know it's in the same spot. I'm going to start here. I'm going to do it quick this time just to show you how quick it can go once you have the work done, the setup done. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Evening evergreen. Pop it over. Stamp, stamp, stamp. If it doesn't get dark enough or misses some spots, you can re-ink it. But it went perfectly, so now I'm gonna flip it, and I'm going to do my evening evergreen again. Come on, get in there. Okay. But this time, I'm gonna stamp that off a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. 
go. Dun, dun, dun. Now I'm going to do my ornaments. Look how quick it is. So quick. Oh, and there they go. Can you hear them barking? They are mad. They do not like a shut door. Oh my goodness. No. They are huffing and puffing. All right. Press that one down. Ta -da! Now, flip it. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to stamp off the, the uh, mint macaron. Maybe not very much because it is so light. But the red really needs to be stamped off. I'll just touch the paper to that a little bit. And I'll touch it to that. Okay. So just touched it just a little bit. And uh, put it up. Just did another one that quickly. Once you get these boards set up, you can even set them up farther down here and have a different, have something stamp over here. There's so many different things you can do with this thing. And it's so good to make multiples, multiples of things. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this away for a minute. I'll clean all those off later. This is the Stamparatus. Comes with the two boards um, and it comes with the rubber. So your stamps will stamp, okay? So now all I need to do is make my sentiment and my dogs need to shut up. I'm just gonna take a scrap of basic white. I'm gonna use my evening evergreen. I used red in this one. I'm just gonna use, it's okay, it doesn't matter. And I need to make two because I made two cards already. Look how quickly that was, two cards. Almost done. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh, my camera. All right. And now all I did was I cut these on an angle. Super simple. Got to grab my scissors. Here we go. Just kind of on an angle that matches. I'm going to pop those dogs in the snoop out there barking while I'm trying to do a video. Okay. Hang on. I got to let them in. What is your problem? Mom is busy. Mama's busy. Okay, and all I did in the background here is I made a bow. And I just used some red twine that I was trying to get rid of. But you could use anything at all. If you do not have um, a bow maker, bow makers are awesome. Um, I'm going to use, I think I have some gold or silver. Yeah. Just whatever. You could do a ribbon. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to use some um, silver. Not gold. Why not? Okay. And a ribbon tire is the coolest. It is the bomb. I'm going to cut this piece real quick. You just take a piece. You put it around. Cross right over left. At least that's how I do it. Up and over. You got to get yourself one of these. Look at that. Super easy bow. Okay, so I made a bow. I'll make another one for the second card in a minute. But I made a nice bow. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that bow on my card right about in here. I'm going to use what we call a snot dot. It is not a snot dot. It is mini glue dots. Okay. And I'm just going to stick one of them down with my finger right about, oh, I don't know, there. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals. One in the top corner. Yep. And one in this corner to make the sentiment pop up right on top of the bow. How cute is that? And finally, Oh, I keep hitting the camera. My bad. I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> so sorry that I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it looks really great. Um, I'm a little frazzled today. 
just feels like I have a whole lot of things I have to get done. You ever, you ever get that way? Just a little panicky? Like all of a sudden it's November and I have so much to get done. And, and it's nobody's fault but my own. I mean, do I have to do these things? No, but I want to. And okay. Oh, and I almost forgot before I put it down a piece of this beautiful light to glow paper. I'm just using the evening evergreen. It's got some snowflakes and stars and things. I'm going to use my, well, of course I didn't grab my glue. I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue. It's pretty on the other side too. Sorry, my glue is just about out. Are you one of those people that uses it till the very end? I am, and I will just like bang this glue until my husband will be like, what are you doing in there? I'm trying to get the last of the glue out. Um, that goes right across there. This is, um, I want to say it's two by five and a half, because it's five and a half wide. Okay, now I can pop this little booger down here. Oops. And I can put, you know, I really should have had something gold here, but that's okay. I'm going to put a little bit of bling. I'm just going to use my scissors because I have no clue. Oh, there it is. Where my, um, what do you call it? Yeah, them things. <laughs> Tweezers. I'm just going to put a couple little things of bling. Or I could use red, but that's okay. Gold might have looked better. And you are done. You have a card. All done. I made these two last night super quickly. I already have this one ready to go. That is how good the Stamparatus is. It will help you make things quickly. It will help you do those dark colors that you might need to stamp a couple times. That stamp is not going to move. And your paper is not going to move with those magnets, trust me. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that, learning a little bit about the Stamparatus this back up here. I hope you enjoyed learning, uh, learning a little bit about the Stamparatus. And um, remember that set is called Decorated with Happiness. And what else? The paper was Lights of Glow. Okay. Um, I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop some comments. I would love to see it. If you're interested in ordering anything you saw today, I will put the link in the comments. And um, or you can message me anytime. I'm here for you. Also, would love to have some workshops if cool. If you'd like to just come in and learn how to do some of these things, would love to have you. Thanks. Bye.